If you make those connections with nature when you're young, then you'll have them your whole life and you'll respect and understand it's, it's everyone and it's all connected. When I was two years old, we moved out to Shelter Island. My parents were educators. My dad taught in Sag Harbor. And my mom worked at Mashamic Preserve. She put together a lot of the educational information about the preserve and newsletters and that kind of stuff. It was important to my mom that we got to experience nature. It was great that she worked at a place like Mashamic for us to establish that connection. My brothers and I got to hang out there all summer, foraging through the woods, and they went to the beach a lot and just went swimming. And we, you know, went snapper fishing and exploring. Things like that were really exciting. I think that, the excitement about nature and the concern for the natural environment, that made a strong impression on me. My whole life, even after, you know, going to college, having other jobs in different places, it seemed new and different, but home was still Shelter Island for me. And I always, like, loved coming back here. And I moved to Brooklyn, reconnected with Bran, who became my husband. With two kids in an apartment in Brooklyn, it was getting a little too cramped. Our priorities were like, we want to be out in this beautiful place and have our kids enjoy it. The cool thing about Shelter Island is like you have a beautiful beach that's open, you see sailboats going by, but they're far enough away. All that land is preserved land, the Suffolk County Park land. It's never that crowded. Even in the summer, you can still find your little spot. The strongest feeling comes to me when I walk through Potomac and I smell the salty air, like the hot air on the marsh grasses, and just all the plants and the earthy smell of that just like brings me back to when I was a kid. And then when I walk through it with my kids, we go there a lot, I'm just like, this smell is going to imprint on their brains too. They love to go to the beach, they love to go swimming, paddle boarding, explore the salt marsh and find crabs and use the seine net and catch bait and go snapper fishing at the end of the summer. And that's really it's exciting for me to see that. and then. I feel like they're getting that connection that I had and that it will hopefully, you know, make them good stewards of the earth that they live on, you know, when they grow up. My kids' generation is losing some of their connection to nature because of all the distractions that keep them indoors. And it's really important for them to get outdoors and get into the woods and the beach and get muddy and dirty because they are the future caretakers of our environment. I try to pass on my knowledge and love for nature and the natural world to my kids and then also as a Girl Scout leader for International Coastal Cleanup Day. We do an island-wide beach cleanup and we get bags and bags of garbage that wash up. We're like learning from doing so we're actively seeing the effects of throwing out trash or not recycling. Shelter Island is just like the rest of Long Island. We have our aquifer and that's it. It's scary when you see water quality issues that have really strong effects like the fish die off this spring. It's obviously from excess nitrogen, which is from people, you know? It's from septic systems and fertilizers. So it's really clear that there's things that we are doing that are making this happen. It's kind of scary that everyone's not like, okay, let's just stop this and act on it and educate so that the next generation will have a beautiful natural world and can pass on the knowledge. It takes energy, but it pays off so much. My name is Laura Lamuccio, and I am a mother. <laughs>